Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching the Neo Limix Introduction Pack. We continue our first round of basic training with Backup Wall. 50 Lemmings, gotta save all of them. And it takes place in the Polar Tribe from Lemmings 2. We got the exit over here. Long walk, but looks doable. Let's see, what, what, is our, what does Backup Wall mean? Builders can be used to create walls that could serve as a one-way substitute for a blocker. Simply place three builders right next to each other and watch them slowly become a wall for the side they are facing. Builders are also useful to seal up tunnels so that the lemming digging them ends up separated from, from the crowd. Just have an extra skill ready to free the crowd afterwards. feel like my tongue kind of puffed up and turned into one of those foam dinosaurs that you stick in the water and it blows up into a dinosaur. My tongue turned into that while I was talking. Okay, so we have nine lemmings. Okay, let's see. What have we got then? Let's go ahead and, uh, how many builders is it going to take to get to the exit, first of all? Um, probably one, two, three, four, five. So, let's see. We've got a one-way guy. Hmm. Alright, so... How do we want to do this, then? Pro well, first of all, we want to get this going. All right, go ahead and no, we want to we want to back that up. We we want to let it go a little bit. Okay, so go forward just a teensy bit. Yeah, probably to about there is good. And then you want to line it up exactly. If you line three builders up in this way, it will make an impenetrable wall. So we've got that going for us. Uh, how else do we want to do this though? Maybe we want to get to here. Okay, I probably should have sent somebody ahead, but let's see how this works out. I'm going to get way up into the crevice here, because I see a big little gap right here that he can fall out through. Let's see how that works out for him. Alright, so up into the crevice. Yeah, he'll end like right there. So I can have somebody built, but i got to save everybody. So maybe I should have had somebody else do this up let's see one builder one builder right so hmm how do we want to get this done so probably what we want to do is i think it's going to take five builders to get to the end one two three four five so i'm thinking what we want to do then is have him bash here and then just build to cut it off okay there we go all right, so that keeps everybody tucked in nice and safe. And then we can continue on our merry way to here. All right, so let me make sure this is correct, that it takes one bridge to get up to here. Yes, we can do that perfectly. All right, so go ahead and continue on thy merry way, little lemming. One more. One more just to make sure he gets up there. And then bop along to here. Little bop along Cassidy action going there. Okay, that works. Okay, whew, I thought that was a that was a close one for a second. Um. Okay, so maybe that is not the way to do it then, because I'm seeing now one basher, and that is a problem. Okay, I did not anticipate my basher needs all the way to the end. Hmm. That is problematic, to say the least. Okay, so what did I do wrong here? Because, yeah, I've got to use a basher to get through there, right? I sure do. He can't just walk up over Mr. Bear's neck. And if I go ahead and... Yeah, if I go ahead and take that... Yeah, that leaves no way for my comrades to get out. So I've got to find a different way to contain them somehow. Uh, I am all out of chores. So I gotta plug this hole some other way. It was maybe the first way I was thinking of doing it. Let's back way the heck up here. Okay, let's not go so crazy yet. Alright, so hopefully... Hopefully only one lemming at a time kind of comes across the way here. We can seal this up. Okay. Hopefully not too many lemmings following along in the crowd here. Okay, I hope at least they turn around. It should only take one step to seal up whatever we're doing here. Okay, good. They're both going to turn around. Alright, so what we got going on here is... 
There we go. All right, that's a much better hole seal. All right, so now it's five to the exit, and yeah, there we go. Okay, that was some. That was a. That was a wacky bit of timing there, but we managed it. Okay, so continue on the way as we have done previously. There we go. And shrug it off. Just shake it off. Okay. And next. There we go. Now we have a basher. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Uh, sorry, Mr. Bear. Your neck is getting chopped off along with the rest of the bourgeoisies in the coming in the coming revolution. So let's go ahead and free these guys and get the rest out of here. I think... Oh, everybody's already out. Uh, 99 release rate is kind of useless at this point. So, whoopsie doodle, but at least nobody is going to plunge into the uh, very oddly animated water. Is that the way it looks in Lemmings too? It just looks like little humps kind of shrugging in the water. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, let's get the rest of those little guys in there. Mr. Snowman is happy to see them make their exit. Looks like we've got termites in the trees. That's no good. There will be no Christmas trees for the orphans this year. No, sir. No, ma'am. The Builder Drain. Four new lemmings, and once again, we have to save everybody. The Builder Drain. What does that mean? Are we going to be told? No, we're not. So, uh, same kind of deal here, I would guess. Um, so, we can probably get one lemming going forward. Okay. So we want, how do we, okay, one limbing will be able to, okay, so we want, let's go ahead and about, okay, somebody's going to have to come from like here, which means we're going to have to get somebody going way back. How about, all right, let's just see how this happens here. So we want to turn it around a little bit. We want to turn this around. No. No, just a little more walking here. Just to make sure it gets built in the right spot. Okay, and then number two. All right, and then three. I think that's wide enough to manage it. And then we should be able to have one. Okay, anybody gonna not go? Okay, from this point, I think we can take this one here. Okay, yeah. So now we can have one do all the rest of the work, and then we can build off of it. Okay. That should enable us, yeah, to have one go the rest of the level. So how's that going to work out? Let's see then. Okay, we want to go from, like, here maybe? Okay. Very good. All right, this is going to work. Oh, the release rate is locked. I cannot change it to 99. That's just, that's how fast they come out. For now and forevermore. Very well then. Well... We don't want to get dripped on, so let's build from about... Actually, let's back that up a few paces. Alright. And we want to go shrug this time. Can we... Can we get up there with just one bridge? Looks like we might be able to. Oh, nice! Oh, some good angling by yours truly. Very well done. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that then. Okay, let's build over our trigger point water bad okay but water is only bad if you are on the ground while underneath it the rest of the lemmings probably have no trouble getting underneath that okay so position from about here Ooh, no i came from too far up let's let's back that truck up just a second just a smidge there we go all right that's gonna go that's gonna go better if we go from like here all right and to there doesn't really matter if he turns around. We don't have a time limit. So that's going to go fine and dandy like sour candy. But we have to make sure we have at least one builder when we're done here. So so they can all get outs. Okay. So you now build to probably here. That's not splat height. Just barely not, I don't think. But okay, from about here ought to cut it. All right. And then they plummet to there. And then one more. I think we had way more than plenty. There we go. And I think... No traps, right? Nothing... No, no funny business? No funny business. So let's get the rest of them out here. Yeah, let's make it touch right there. 
Just the tip, though. There we go. And five builders remaining. We could have done it with even less than that. But this is a beginner level, so... So we get a few... We get a little bit of margin for error. Let's get out of the bathtub here. Our, our little limbing fingers are starting to get all pruney. We don't want that. You can't build effective bridges with wrinkly fingers, wrinkly paws. That's no good. Let's move on. We're doing uh, pretty solid here. We've learned all about the blocker or the builder trap rather uh, a very nice a very nice little trick top down approach exit on bottom or entrance on bottom exit on top 10 lemmings gotta save 11 so we're gonna be cloning somebody any advice for this one bashers won't stop when encountering a slight steel slope as they are able to go slightly upwards or downwards we've seen that already in that one uh, level with the cave limbs tile set so don't give up on them while facing those slopes. Climbers can turn into shimmiers right before hitting their heads. When giving them a shimmier close to the ceiling, they transition into a shimmier and won't fall down. This allows you to reach new areas. Let's test both of these things out. I was actually curious about if you could transition to shimmying from climbing uh, for some level ideas I have in mind. And that's good to know. So let's, let's try it out. Okay, so we're going slightly uphill. But we don't have... Don't, doesn't look like we have a fencer. So we can reach new areas and encounter new possibilities with this. Okay, so yeah, it's going to go... It's going to incline up the slope. That's really bizarre. Okay, so now what we need to do then... Alright, um... What have we got here? So we're going to use our cloner up here to make sure the rest can get home. But first, let's go ahead and bash, as we have been so instructed. It looks like with just a pixel difference, they end up going kind of up. Oh, that's a nasty trick. I can tell it's going to be used to some, uh, to some really nasty ends later, I bet. So we have a climber, a platformer. All right, so, okay, so we send, it looks like what they want us to do is send a climber up the wall. And we have a shimmier then. All right, let's see what that does for us here. So I can assign him, there we go, yeah, like right at the top. He gets to the top there. Excellent, okay. So what does everything else get used for? Miner and basher, obviously. Um, we don't have a... Yeah, so it looks like from here on out, we're going to have to go here with this. Oops, not fast forward. Here we go. And then we'll use the cloner closer to the exit. There we go. And, oh yeah, so we'll bash and... We'll mine and bash, and then once shimmy once again to save that one. Okay. Pretty simple little idea. Okay, so he will... Curve generously around the steel. I saw the trajectory that was laid out there. Yep, he made it. So now, there we go. Get way down low. Bend down low, baby. Tell me, let me tell you what I know. Let's see. Let's get, let's get going. This is a, it's a neat little tile set. A little, a little chunky. Not very HD friendly, but you can definitely tell it's an older tile set. I like the fire coming out of the exit though kind of a nice little mix of the pillar tile set and the hell set i call it the hell set officially it's fire but let's be real it's lemmings in hell that's what it is let's not get afraid of a little old time religion here shall we all right we are moving on one more living to the exit he's making his way i'm just kind of trying to talk through it and there we go let's fit in at least one more. We're on kind of a roll here. Let's do it up. <laughs> oh, my brain. My my terrible brain went straight to the gutter on that level title. Oh, God. Well, let's just say it out loud. Reach around. <laughs> I can't say it with a straight face because I'm a child. 50 lemmings, must save them all. We have some pickup skills to pick up here. So how are we going to be doing that? Are we going to be... I have a feeling this is one we're going to be dumped straight into. Oh, no, we do get... Okay, a pickup skill. Is this the first time we've seen pickups? 
Huh. Okay. A pickup skill can contain more than just one use of a skill. A number next to it will indicate the amount it provides. Oh, this is the first time we've seen pickups with multiple. Okay, I got it. Also, gliders can bounce off walls. They will just bounce off and glide the other way and not just simply fall down after hitting a wall. Shimmiers stop when they regain ground under their feet. There is a certain pillar here which will demonstrate this. Okay, well then let's do it to it, as they say. All right. Can we shimmy from here? I'm doubting it. Okay, so if we get... All right, yeah, I think I see. So we go around here. We go around the way up shimmy at the ceiling okay oh no 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 just a little too there we go all right so we get to here and so yeah there's the certain pillar very nice okay so he lands on the ground on his feet so now what we want to do and we're gonna bash two ways here um i assume this is a platformer did I go the right way to start? I would sure hope I did. Okay, so that will... Okay, yeah. Bounce him off the wall. Boom. Very good. And we're going to have to bash pretty much as soon as we hit. There we go. And then we'll do that little up a slope trick. Very nice. Okay, so what do we want to do then? Alright, we've got our other basher, which is for use over here. Okay, two builders. Two builders? Can we do that? Okay, I think I see it. Oh, I think I wanted to go over the wall first. So we're going to want to... Okay, I need to back way the heck up. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Okay, I see it. Pretty pretty easy mistake to spot. Okay, so up over the wall. Okay, so you're going to get those. So now, what we want to do is stretch out. Uh, Nanook stretches it a bit. Let's see. And then we're going to go here and shrug so that he hits his head. Okay. That's the element I was missing at the beginning. We want to make a little tent that they can walk over. Uh, we can 99 everybody. It shouldn't matter too much here. So go ahead and do such like as before. There we go. And then to the pillar. Touchdown on safe, solid ground there. All right, very good. All right. Well, that one went pretty well. That was a pretty easily solvable one. So... I think they can save themselves by bashing, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Because he's going to have to turn around. I, that just occurred to me. So go ahead and... We're going to have it touch. Okay. Maybe back up a bit off that. Okay. Okay. All right, and then yeah, there we go. Excellent. They'll touch right. They will. They will reach out across the Great Divide, touch tips, and there we go. All right, just the tip, please. Just a little boop, little booper snoot. There we go. Everybody saved. Well, that went pretty well. Do I want to do one more? Do I dare? Do I durst? We're on kind of a roll today, so... You know what? I think I do. I think I want to... Since since the pace has been... Since the episodes have been coming out at a little bit of a trickle lately, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna push my luck and uh, kind of... Kind of up the content on this one. We'll fit in one more. What is that one more? I didn't just make a huge mistake, did I? Uh, did I crash the game? I see a big old not responding black screen here. What the heck is going on? Oh, there it is. Scrap the buttons. Back to Sonic the Hedgehog here. So, <laughs> there's a big old blood arrow pointing at something. 20 lemmings, gotta save them all. Anything special to know about this level? No, you're just going straight to it. So, is this a trap of some sort? Let's, well, let's see. No, it's not, but... Okay, so this is just kind of a... Okay, this is a... The exit is locked... And we have two buttons to press. Alright, so... We got a blocker, though. We, but we gotta save everybody. Uh, any easy way to free... Free that one of his uh, burdens? Let's see. Um, maybe I can bash underneath... Well, no. 
steal. Well, it'll get to steal eventually. I'm going to set a blocker right here. I think I can set a blocker trap and bash through maybe to like the end. Well, that doesn't help any. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... Well, no, that doesn't really do much either. It's going to be hard to bash underneath him. But maybe I can get some... Uh, maybe I can get some ground going underneath him. I don't think I'm going to be able to salvage him that way. Maybe the blockers are a sucker's game. They could very well be. Do we want to do a platformer? There's lots of, there's lots of variety here. Lots of things we could try out. Are these traps? They are traps. They technically count as fire. Okay, an updraft, a fire, fire. Lots of fire saws. Let's try... Let's start over real quick. Okay. Let's give it a... Let's give it the old college try here. A release rate of 60. That's not terrible. I'm going to try sealing everybody up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think the arrow is indicating that I want to do... No... Stop, back. I think it's indicating that I should do the blocker trap right here, maybe? Okay, so blocker here. And then does that allow me to then... I'm going to let him fall for just a second. Yes, I can bash under him at the end. Very good. Okay, so then let's, let's glide. Let's glide over and bop our little butts that way. Okay, so what we want to do first... I think that glider is going to say the updraft is going to save them from splatting. And I want to get a platform going down here. There's one. But I have to get to the various buttons. And how am I going to do such like as that? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Need him to be a climber. So go back. Okay, this is our little this is our medley melange level here. A little little bit of potpourri, if you will. So he's not going to fall into the updraft, I don't think. No, he sure did. <laughs> well, maybe we should platform over that as well. It looks like we have one to spare. Uh, so let's back up off of that. And another one, please, if you don't mind. I, If I'm remembering right, they don't splatter when they hit an updraft. If I am remembering correctly. All right. Oh, nope. Okay, so now now that you're going that way, I think what we want to do is build up to here so we can hit that button. I don't think he'll turn around if he hits that. No, okay, he climbs up the wall. Good. So, gliding is a permanent skill, I think. Yeah, he's an athlete, so it may be a problem for him to... We need to save everybody. So it may be a problem that he uh, that he goes up there. Okay, we got one button pressed. Let me see. I don't like I don't like the his trajectory scares me. Okay, whoo. Okay, good. Okay, but we have to turn him around. So I think we're gonna do that by just building into the wall here. Okay, very good. Okay, and then press the other button. I think we may be able to manage this at this point. Go ahead and bash underneath. Very nice. Okay, this will be the test right here. They're going to fall. Yeah, okay, good. I remembered correctly. They do not die in an updraft. And they should be able to now make it to the exit. Both buttons have been pressed. There we go. And he's going to climb up there and walk his merry way. All right. We did it. We saved all 20 in our very first kind of... I think this is the first, like, really real flying on our own level we've gotten. Very nice. Very well done. I'm, I'm glad I decided to do one more. That was kind of a, that was kind of a good culmination of all the things we've learned. And we've got plenty of leftover. So, not a problem at all, that one. That was, that was not too hard a level. And I like the ones that you can play by ear. Those tend to be among my favorites. But, uh, we definitely won't press any more luck now. No whammies. We're walking away with the big bucks. I'll see you guys next time to do... Um, wow, that was almost... No, there's like five levels of basic training left. May finish basic training one next time. Probably won't, though. I'm going to hedge my bets and say we probably won't.